Hi, this is Christina here, and today I'm reviewing for you Finnegan Wake from Monster High, and I'm really excited about this. I mean, I'm always really excited when I do a review, right? But I am extra excited about Finnegan for a couple reasons. First of all, I thought it was really cool that they gave us the chance as a fandom, as fans of Monster High, to vote for who we wanted um, to be one of the new dolls. I'm sure a lot of you remember doing that. We voted uh, between Finnegan, Gory, the vampire, and I think her name was Quill, but um, she was in a recent webisode and I think she knew her name was Harper. Anyways, she's like the bird character and they're all really cool, but I think Finnegan is really different for a lot of reasons and he really deserved to be a doll and I'm very glad that he won. Um, secondly, I'm excited because I was actually able to find him in my local Toys R Us store because I'm in Canada. Now in the States, he is online exclusive to the Mattel online store only and I was a little bit worried about that because sometimes when things are exclusive in the States, they end up other places in like the rest of the world, but Canada sometimes gets lost in the shuffle because we're not, we're not the States, but we're also not quite international enough, right? So I was glad to be able to find him in my local Toys R Us and he was $29.99, which honestly is a totally reasonable price. Um, the prices for dolls lately here have been like through the roof nutso. Everything costs so much money, but $30 for Finnegan, a basic character, like their sort of regular version with the wheelchair, like with this, I mean, it's kind of a large accessory, $30, I'm cool with that. Totally fine. So yeah. <laughs> and I also love, um, we'll probably talk more about it once I actually get him out of the box, but I love that he is in a wheelchair and that Monster High has this doll in the line. You know, I think it's so cool for all the kids out there, um, and adults too, who have, you know, maybe they have a disability or a medical condition or something about them that, you know, makes them a little bit different from their friends, and they can look to Monster High and have a character like Finnegan and see that... It doesn't, you know, he's still, he does his, he plays sports and he's really active and everybody thinks he's a cool guy and that's because people with disabilities, people who use wheelchairs, whatever, are. They're not any different from anybody else in the ways that really matter, right? And Monster High is kind of putting their money where their mouth is in terms of their be yourself, be unique, be a monster with putting out a doll like Finnegan. And I love that. So... Uh, let's just have a quick look at his box here. They actually managed to get him in like a normal size box. It's a little bit thicker this way to accommodate the wheelchair. But other than that, he's in a totally, uh, he's in a normal size box. And we have, you can see that inside his box here, it's like, this is like a skateboard ramp, like a half pipe. Because he's like an extreme sports kind of guy and he uses his wheelchair for his extreme sports. So that's cool. And you can see like the background, he's at like a skate park, which I also love because my brother is a skateboarder and my parents actually um, were on a committee for years to get a skate park built in my town because of that. So this has like a double, le like another level for me. I think it's kind of fun to see that. And then on the back, we have uh, again, the close up of his art, which is pretty great. He looks super cool. He has a lot of personality and you can see that over here too. And uh, a little bit of a tease of his bio. And it also says here, you voted, he won, which is cool. I voted for Finnegan and I am really excited to be holding him in my hands right now. So without further ado, I'm going to get him out of the box and we'll have a look at what's going okay, on. So I've got Finnegan out of his box and let me tell you, he's pretty cool. Um, actually, and it was really pretty easy to get him out of the box too, just to mention because he and the wheelchair are attached to this like plastic thing. So all you have to do is cut a couple of elastic bands and a few straps and he pops right out. So that was nice. No fit, no plastic ties in the head, nothing like that. Good. Uh, but so let's have a look at Finnegan first. Um, out of his wheelchair, so he does have um, a hip joint, a knee joint, and then the bottom of his tail is jointed as well. And they rotate. Um, so like, you could pose him and if you wanted to kind of like play with him in the water, um, you could make it look like he was swimming. And it does say 
in his diary that that's what he likes to do. He likes to work out in the water to keep himself fit. Um, and speaking of the diary, just quickly, it does have his bio and his full art. And then it does have one, again, international diary, so it doesn't have all the, all the stuff. It has one entry here, which is like this really great story about him going uh, to a children's hospital and kind of volunteering there and helping out with some of the younger kids who um, maybe are having a hard time dealing with um, their illnesses or whatever. And he has kind of a unique experience. What it doesn't have in here, um, and it did have, I read his diary online from someone who bought him in the States. It did have um, a story talking about, or, an, an, you know, talking about how Finnegan, uh, when he was born, his tail just didn't work. So it's not that um, he's a mermaid and can't walk on land, so he uses the wheelchair. He needs the wheelchair. So I think that's kind of interesting, and, um, and I'm glad that they kind of went that way with it. So following on from that, he's not like Serena or like the upcoming Great Scary Reef Dolls. He can't stand, um, it's not meant for him to stand on. Like it doesn't have the double thing for him to stand on. You could probably kind of make it happen and you could definitely put him on a stand. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to display him on his wheelchair because he needs his wheelchair and that's who he is and that's cool. Um, so anyways, Finnegan. And what's interesting about him is he's obviously got a whole new body mold, right? because of the tail, but also his torso isn't the same as any of the previous boy torsos. It's bigger than most of the boys, but it's smaller than Manny. So he's totally unique. And then obviously he has a new head mold and has this really cool fin for his hair, which is translucent blue, but then has some on this side, some painted stripes, um, which have, which are like a green and a darker blue. And then you can kind of see them through this side. Now it's a little bit interesting. His head feels different to me. I don't know if it's just because he has like no hair or anything. He feels a little bit rubberier. And also his neck is a considerably wider to fit on the neck hole. So it's a little bit thinner plastic maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. And facially he has a little bit of like, got a little bit of a gill thing going on, which makes sense. One thing that I wish is that I don't think his, his doll quite has as much personality as his art. You know, because he looks like he's like down for a good time and he's excited and he's yelling and all that stuff. And this is a little sedate, a little more quiet, but still, he's a very handsome doll. And then he has these um, goggles, which the strap comes off on either side and you can put the goggles on him. And he looks like completely ridiculous and I kind of love it. It makes him look like, you know, fish eyed, right? Which is kind of perfect. And then moving down, he's only wearing a t-shirt because obviously he doesn't need pants. He's got a tail. So it's this, just a, like a muscle shirt, a yellow muscle shirt with a number one on it and some stripes. And then on both of his arms, he has tattoos. So on this arm, on his lower arm, he has like flame tattoos that go all the way around. And on this side, he has like a skull with a racing flag and then some sort of generic kind of tribal designs. On um, both of his hands, he has painted black fingerless gloves. And on this side, he has um, just a wrap around his arm. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a bandage or or what, but that's where it is. And then his tail is like a shimmery kind of um, greeny blue. And now let's have a look at the wheelchair too, because the wheelchair is like just as cool as the doll. There is a serious lack of doll wheelchairs out there and dolls who come in wheelchairs in this scale. Since the 90s, in the early 2000s maybe, um, maybe just the 90s, when Barbie had her friend Becky. Um, Becky has three dolls. Um, that's pretty much it for dolls in the Barbie scale that come in, that come in wheelchairs or have wheelchairs that you can buy for them. Obviously, um, American Girl and those like larger 18 inch dolls, you can get wheelchairs for them, but it's not as common in this scale. So it's nice to have, you know, one more doll that kind of has that option. And so his wheelchair is, it's pretty cool. It has obviously these big like flaming wheels and it's black, silver handles, and it actually works really, really well. So both the big wheels spin and then it has the little wheels that are on casters. So they rotate like that. And then down here under the footrest, it has this flaming skull sticker. And then it also has on the back Finnegan's bag. Now the bag is like a bronze metallic and it does come off. And it also, 
opens and you can put stuff in there. If Finnegan had anything to put in there, it would go in there. And I suppose that if you wanted to, he could probably wear it too, but with the flat back, it definitely looks like it was made to just be on the wheelchair, right? And it's really cool. And then Finnegan just sits in the wheelchair with his fin bent up like that. And he is good to go for some extreme sports or just, you know, tooling around the halls of Monster High being awesome. So I'm so excited to have him in my collection. I think he's a really, he's a, such a cool doll to start with, but I think he also is really important. And I'm glad that Monster High um, is doing things like this and taking it there and going, um, like as I said, putting their money where their mouth is with their, you know, freaky flaws or what make you fabulous and all that stuff. I really love it. And I'm sure it means a lot to a lot of kids out there too. So, um, if you're in America, get yourself to Mattel online and order one of these dolls. He's so great. And if you're not in America, go to your local Toys R Us and hopefully he'll be there waiting on the shelves for you. And if you're interested, I'm going to do a full photo review of Finnegan on my blog, christinearticulates.blogspot.ca. And you can find that link down below in the description bar, as well as links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Tumblr, my Instagram. I'm Christina Articulates everywhere. And I'd love if you followed me on any of those places. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, we'll see you back here next time. Bye, guys.